Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and I started already on the next thing, the next project. And so I just thought I would turn the camera on and sort of <laughs> just jump in right in the middle. So this is all my paper that I have and I have been cutting up strips to make tags because we have 54 cards where is it? <laughs> it's under here somewhere. 54 cards in the deck that go into this journal we made. Okay, here it is. Oh my goodness. I've got, I don't know how, I bet you guys work a lot neater than I do. I start one thing and I just go to the next thing right on top of it and on top of it and on top of it. And this is what happens. So let me pull my papers together here. I got them on my paper cutter and was cutting them in what I thought was the proper width to create some tags, but now I'm not so sure. I think that one was too narrow. That one will work, okay. So anyway, here is the deck of cards that, um, you know, they're out on Etsy. There's a deck of healing cards. There's also a deck of just regular verses, all the popular, not all, <laughs> some popular verses, let's say that. So this deck is all about healing and long life and all that. So in the original uh, journal that I made, I didn't do anything with these. I just stuck them in as is. But I decided on this one, I should probably actually create tags and it's really fun. I know you guys love making tags. And if you ever make tags and you're, and you're like, well, I need a subject on the tag, this is perfect. Pull those tags out and you can glue these verses on and use them up. So here's what I have so far. I took this one and cut it down so it would fit in the window and ink the edges and put that in that window that goes on the very front. And then under here, I use some of my different colored uh, distress inks on the edges and punch the corners. And couple of them I, that had room at the top, I put ribbons on in here. So that is in the front. So then I opened it up and I started to make the tag. So here's my first one I did. And I actually need to go around and ink the edges of this one. And so then we have these two windows. So I picked two verses and put them inside there. And so now I'm making some tags with some of my different papers that I can then put in this pocket and actually that'll even fit that way. So I'm kind of just going pocket by pocket and actually I could scoot that down and put a ribbon in it if I wanted to. And I think I do. I'm using my scraps, my inks, my ribbons, all the, all the goodies. I stopped to cut these strips of paper. So now I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can use those up when I need. Of course, I started out with one tray of <laughs> colors and then I needed all of them out. So pretty much all your supplies. <laughs> and so let's see, this one was the coral. I'm gonna just hit the edges of this. And you know, I know it would look nice if I would just use my um, photo, uh, what am I trying to say? Vintage photo. And I might go back and put it too because I like the vintage photo when it's got colors with it. But for now, I'm doing this. <laughs> so I think what I'll do is what I just did here. I'm gonna work on a few and then turn the camera back on and show them to you because I really don't think you wanna sit here while I ink and do those things. So I'm gonna make a few and then I'll show them to you and then make a few more so on. Okay, I'm back. I went through, I had a drawer of tags that were just partially done. And I think that somebody sent me a couple of these. I had some uh, tags from dry cleaners. These are some that I decoupaged napkins and did uh, grommet. Some that I just did a gold border on and um, just cut out some paper, used some different, um, sprays and stitch this cloth but on the back I can glue a card and it's stitched on the edges and here's another decoupaged one and this one's just cut out of some paper just a tag 
these, I think I did a video. In fact, I know I did a video on this because I, I've got a kit in Etsy for these little circles and it's their uh, ribbon sliders that you can turn into little tags. And um, here's another one and another one. So I can put the verse on the back of these if I wanna use those. And then I've just got some paper that I rounded corners and punched a hole. There's a tag that I did some um, emboss powder on. There's some more of these. I think somebody sent me these. And so I'm going to use these and uh, create tags in, in addition to the paper that I cut. So um, the, I haven't gotten that much further. I did a velvet ribbon, velveteen ribbon for this tag and then I just uh, used some uh, paper I had and did the uh, distress ink on the edge. So I'm up to here now. That's when I got the bright idea to go look for these tags. <laughs> so uh, I'll be back. I'm going to make a few more and then I'll show them to you. Okay, I am back and I was looking at this and I came, so here's this card. I had this nice marbled paper so I just uh, rounded the corners and put that, I, this one's kind of a big, easy to read card. So I put that on there so that it could be read through there. So, okay. And then when I saw this page, I thought, well, now something, something's not right here. <laughs> and you guys, I forgot to tell you about the ribbon sliders. I think I mentioned it and went on about my business while we were making the journals. So I, pull, I pulled out two cards that have space at the top and bottom, and I'm going to, and I'm going to round the corners and then make these into ribbon sliders because that was the plan. You need ribbon, uh, fairly wide ribbon, I would say. I'll show you the one I used on my prototype again. It was a gold, shiny, fancy ribbon. Here it is. And so we're gonna cut the slits and put something through it, but you can use cloth, strips of cloth. You can use ribbon, you can use netting, you know, uh, tool. And uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do on this one. And again, see how this was all just plain cards um, everywhere. I just stuck the cards in. I didn't decorate them like I am with this one. I'll probably go back and do these though, because I'll tell you what, it's really fun. I am having a great time making these tags. I've got these rounded and I'm going to go get my, I think I'm going to use tool, my netting. So I'll be right back. And this is just me, but one reason I wanted to use this tool is because it's see-through and I can see the words on this page where it says Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. And that's the name of God. You know, he has many names in the Old Testament and that's one of the, one of the ones that they have. So um, that's the God who heals. So here's the different tool. I just want to see what the colors look like, if it mattered. The green is almost the same as the page. I don't know that colors will show. I mean, orange would show. I'm not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> I think I like this for a color with the green. If I'm going to use a color, I'll do that. Okay, and just keep your eyes out at Walmart and all over the place for these uh, different rolls of tool. I got that at Walmart, I think, for a dollar on clearance. This one I got at the dollar store, which is now a dollar and a quarter, but um, it was a dollar a roll. They have cool things sometimes. Whoops. Let's see if it's enough to get. Yeah, if I cut that in half, so then how much do I want? Like that much? Probably. So it looks like about six or eight inches of it. Okay, let's see how that does. I'm just gonna eyeball it. 
I know you're shocked by that. <laughs> okay. And then make sure this is going to work. Okay. All right, so now we're going to cut a slit. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife. Let me get my little cutting board out from the Dollar Store, or Dollar Tree, sorry. These are Dollar Tree. All these things I'm talking about was Dollar Tree, not Dollar Store. I am just going to guesstimate. I'm going to come up here and just cut a slit. Let's see. I'm going to cut a slit. So it doesn't have to be too exact. Just keep it away from the edges a little bit. And if you if you are a more exact person than I am, then I will measure this so you can tell about where you want it. This is about one, two, three, three eighths of an inch. Yeah, one, two, three, three eighths of an inch from the edge if you want to do it that way. This one's not as far away. So, so then we're going to take our. Okay, where'd the other piece go? <laughs> this stuff just. There it is. Eh, it's like cobwebs. Okay, so I'm going to gather it up. Sort of. <clears throat> put it through the back. And through the top. And gather it, make it a little even on the gathering. Do the other one. didn't get twisted back there. Now, if I had known, if I had done this ahead of time, I could have, in theory, gone over to the sewing machine and stitched this in, which looks really great. But that didn't happen, so I'm gonna glue it on. I think I did that on the last one. And I, I think these should stagger, probably. So figure out which one you want to go first, and I think I want this one at the top, maybe. And this one at the bottom. Like that, something like that. So then it's a matter of getting the Fabri-Tac to cooperate. Not sure how great this will look, but don't really have a choice on this anymore. So I'm just gonna see what happens. it sort of just blends in and doesn't look funny. It needs to thin out. I need to get my acetone back out and thin it. straight and then this one putting a good amount on here This needs to slide up, and I can move these after this dry, so I'm going to let this dry. And then I 
can get them to where they're not touching each other. Hope. And so those kind of color coordinate with the envelopes, sort of, and match each other. If that matters to you. And then this belly band. So I had these giant cards that I had made and because I had these ribbon sliders in a kit and uh, so I had made these tags up, stitched them on the sewing machine, everything. Well, it has a pocket at the bottom. So I just stuck a card in there uh, without doing anything to it. And I actually think I want to round the corners on that. Stress ink, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to put it in like that. And then I put one on the back. So I just used a different paper and then just put the card on with, I did ink that one. So this big tag is gonna go, it just barely fits. Like that. And this one then holds the eight cards And then I have another one of these great big cards from the other ribbon slider kit. Had a little pocket, so I just stuck one of these little verse cards in it that matches it, and then put a card on the back of that. This is to go in the big envelope. Whoops, and my big envelope. Oh, I never did, I never did finish gluing it down after I had to take it up. Okay, that was a shock. Okay. And then put my big journal card in. And did I put one in there? I think I did. Yeah, I put this one in. And that was just an extra tag that I had. And I glued my little verse onto it. So then we have this. And so I'm gonna go ahead and work on some more cards and then I will be back. Okay, so we are back with the removable folio. I stitched, I have a time with this velvet. I love it, but I can't ever seem to get it exactly perfect. A little off center, but stitched on this one stitched on and that one um it's just i haven't got a place for that but i had two that i wanted to sew so this one i had in here so this is your triple pocket in the removable folio and i'd had this tag didn't do anything on the back of that one and the stitched one and then this one that I had, this was one that I had made up in my drawer, this part of it, so I just used the back of it to put a card on. So there are my three there. And then over here, um, actually, well, let's see. I've got the two here. Oh, I've got this great big one back here. So another one of those ones I did with that other kit where it's the ribbon sliders. And then I just glued a card on here, inked around it and glued it on because it went with this colorway. And that goes on the back in this big pocket. And then I need the ones here. I have this one. I use some of that um, Tim Holtz fabric washi tape that he makes to hold it on. And then just another paper on the back and some of sorry silk on the little ribbon on the top so that can go in there and then there's a little tuck spot here I've got this little card that I just used some scraps I put some washi tape on it and um, a couple of different papers a piece of washi tape so that can just slip in there and fold over and that is the removable folio so that fits in there. And so 
all that's left is we've got this, which I figured anything left over I'll put in this accordion folder. Um, this one, I had this just a regular uh, tag and I just inked it and I put some papers behind it. Just a very simple one to go on the front of this. And then this is the one where we have our built-in paper clips with the six uh, cards in there. And I think I might go back and round the corners on that. I'm gonna cut that off. <laughs> I think I got overkill on some of these. And then on the back, I'm going to put a tag and I've got this tag. It's got some sorry silk on there. Uh, I punched the hole and used a little paper label from Walmart that you can ink. And this was just scrap paper from a printout uh, from one of my kits. And this was a printout of one of my um, eco dye papers. And those are all on Etsy too, if you're interested in that. So I just glued the card on. So I'll just put that back there. And so that I have, so that means I have something basic in all the pockets. So then I went back and made, I still have some cards left. So I'll show those to you. And I just used uh, again, there's that washi tape from Tim Holtz, a different one. And this one I had scrapped, made paper out of. And I put this, uh, this is a Tim Holtz pad of paper that I got this from. Sorry, Silk. Um, scraps. Some papers that I had. Same thing on that. This one I had several of them, so I stitched this on. This is all kinds of sprays, mica sprays that I'd used, and then I stitched on it. So I had that in my drawer, and so I just took it, this side you can see the different colors of, of sprays. And so I uh, inked this card, rounded the corners, and glued that on. This is some more scrap paper. I used a washi tape on each side. Some scrap cloth. This had um, some embossed powder on it and some sprays I had played around with. Some washi tape. This is decoupage napkins. And then this is just two papers I just glued on. I tore this diagonal and glued it on. Washi tape. This is that handmade paper I got at Walmart. They had a whole packet of it. Pretty cheap, marked down. And then some more of my spray experiments. <laughs> I love that. And I feel like it goes good with that color velvet. So these tags now need a home. And if I don't find a home for them, I can always put them in my uh, accordion pocket. So I'm just gonna go back and see if there's anywhere that feels like it needs more. I mean, we've got 54 cards, that's a lot. So let me look back at the front. And I mean, it technically, I could put another one in here. Put that one over here. I guess one of these neutrals could go here. So I'll just put two tags there. Okay, so that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let me. This guy's pretty fat, so he needs some stuff in him. There. Oh, I gotta tie this. Fold this up. Yeah, see how much fatter it got now with all the tags in it? Just perfect. Okay, and I'm gonna use, I think, the sorry silk to tie around it. So wrap it a couple of times and cut it off. All 
right, you guys, there it is. And I will do a flip through, but that is, I love it. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you for watching, and um, I hope that was fun for you. I hope you're making one, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.